Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and I'm going to do a video treatment of the upcoming energy of 2023. I'm recording this right before I do a live about this very topic. So we're going to cover it live before this posts. In the future, always check out the live links because, you know, you're going to get to interact one-on-one, -on -one, ask your questions, you're in with a community, everybody's discussing these things, and then there will be the video to come out, okay? So just keep that in mind. If you'd like a personal reading, just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. Let's talk about 2023. It is, <laughs> uh, I know people are probably sitting there, I can just imagine people going like, come on, tell me it's going to be good, tell me it's going to be good. It's going to be good if you know what good looks like. And that's going to be the big test of this year. It's a seven year. Seven is from an angelic standpoint. This is where the archangels are coming in and surrounding you and, you know, encouraging you to carry on. This is being introspective. It's a lot of spiritual growth. It is, I said this in another video, but it is finding true happiness by having less. It is finding true happiness, even though your life may not be turning out the way you had hoped. So let's be clear. This is not to say that there won't be things happening in the world. There's always going to be some psycho who's trying it, okay? We know that. What kind of planet do you think we're on right now? <laughs> we're on a duality consciousness planet. So yes, there are always going to be extremes. Watch out for extreme weather. That's been happening. That's right in your face. Um, natural disasters. All of that's going to be happening. But it has this kind of feeling of, of being, you know, if you've done the work, you, you see somehow a blessing behind it. Not in a made up way, but in a, I'm almost relieved kind of way. Um, I'm thinking of somebody, God forbid, who might be in California. Years ago, there were fire, well, not years ago, I guess fires happen out there now pretty regularly. Um, and I know this might feel like a stretch, but hang with me. The seven number and the energy of this year is such that if say somebody, God forbid, lost their house, that's traumatic, right? And they would go through the process of, of healing from that, but then realizing I didn't need a house that big. It didn't need to be in that area. I'm going to rebuild. I'm going to start something fresh. So it's not just reframing. It, it's actually seeing how, uh, you know, it's like blessings in disguise kind of thing. How a seemingly um, catastrophic thing occurs and yet it kicked you off into a direction that brings you so much more peace, so much more happiness. I, I do look for people to be uh, maybe downsizing in their homes uh, because they may go, you know, I'm tired of working so hard. This would be the kind of thing if... If you're an executive and you work around the clock to maintain, I don't know, three or four houses, because somehow that makes you seem important if you have three or four houses, important to whom? Do you really care about what they think? Do you really? We're going to talk about that. So you might go, you know, I don't want to work so hard. One house is good enough. <laughs> maybe maybe two if you don't live because I that's always been my dream to have a home here in Colorado and to have one in my hometown as well so I could have you know place to stay when I go home and see my family and all that but you know I mean maybe you decide one house is good enough or you start realizing we don't want luxury brands maybe you realize if you're going to take your money which is energy you're going to give it over to Maybe a designer who is truly talented, truly unique, using the materials that you agree with. Maybe it's a mid-level price. And that, I, I really do see a trend coming where we already see it sort of happening where it's a rejection of celebrities and celebrity status. Now, you will always have, uh, we, did we decide on a name what we're going to call the little, the enablers, not the enablers, the um, people... They're basically covert narcissists who worship overt narcissists, right? Um, so they're always going to, oh, you know, like, oh my gosh, celebrities. But the, uh, I think for the majority of people, they're going to step back and look at that and not have any respect for it. So let me be clear. It'll still happen. It's just not 
<laughs> it's not so glamorized, okay? And people are um, going to maybe choose a more down-to-earth route for things. So keep that in mind. This will probably be a time where our banking system changes drastically. It was meant to crumble in the first place so we could learn from it and build something better. But already we're seeing interference from the banking system. So they're trying to save themselves by coming up with a whole thing that probably won't serve us, but there's going to be shakeups around obviously the the economy. I'm I'm not an economist. I'm not a financial planner. I'm not any. I'm not an expert in those areas. Check with your professional advisors for your situation. This is just energetically and spiritually speaking. Okay, so it, it's going to be this kind of thing. Like even if you know the stock market does whatever it's doing. Instead of panicking, we all go, it's not any worse than the past few years we've been going through stuff. It's almost like we were in training, right? It's taking whatever has happened on the surface and everything we have learned over the past few years and going inward. And for some, this is this incredible opportunity as I said before, for spiritual growth. And people who do not honor that, they'll continue on. And people who are trying to do the introspective work, they're trying to do the spiritual work, they're going to be looking out and going, see, this this didn't change. These people still exist. Whether they exist or not doesn't matter to you. It doesn't need to matter to you. What are you doing with the frequency? So it's kind of a year of minding your business, okay? A little bit. <laughs> Just because we still have annoying billionaires out there, you know, doing their weird things, who cares? I mean, you know, we won't, don't let it bombard us, keep an eye on it, but it's about how you're responding to it. We are crafting uh, that development so that when things happen, we don't fall apart. So we're not afraid of change. So we're not, you know, not trusting ourselves to handle whatever comes our way. Does that make sense? So can it be a year of enlightenment? Yes. Can it be a year where some of you do settle into a home? Yes. Think of it as sort of, um, you know, there's been this push to evaluate how are we as a material species? I don't know. Like, how are we in a material sense in the density consciousness? How how do things need to work? Right? So we've, we've spent 2022 doing that. And how can I balance myself as things are rocking and rolling and all up in our face and doing all kind of crazy things? We've learned to come through that and to survive. If you are someone who sits there, I remember um, I was telling somebody this and they just immediately went, oh God, really? Do not expect people to save you. You've been warned. Because the whole point here is to be learning, <laughs> it's to be not toughening up, not doing, just being resourceful. I made homemade butter the other day. Why? Mostly because I was too lazy to go to the store. I just wasn't in the mood. I just wasn't. So I had some cream from a project and I made butter. And when I realized how stupid easy it was, I'm like, why have I been so worried about food shortages? I can figure it out. Guess what? Those generations that came before us that were so quick to point the finger at and say it's all your fault, they knew how to survive with nothing. Think about your grandparents' generation, the ones that were all about family, okay? I'm not saying we have to go back to that, but there's something empowering when when there's a narrative coming at you and you realize you can handle it. Make some butter. Make some bread. Oh, but it's, I never get, you're gonna, I'm not saying you'll have to do it this year. (laughs) Like there'll be no bread, but you know, people complaining. I was just saying this in a live too, where people were saying, oh my gosh, there are no eggs. There are no eggs anywhere. The vegans got this all worked out. Okay. So if you can't find eggs for something, check a vegan recipe. I have egg replacer, replacement, whatever the heck in my refrigerator. So, you know, we can make do. Right? We're going to be okay. There, there's a workaround for everything. But the whole idea here is to be looking for your peace. The, the basic idea here is that, you know, if we spend our time complaining, 
if we spend our time um, uh, disaster thinking, you know, doing all those kinds of things, it doesn't mean that it won't happen. Of course it will. That's no surprise. Things are happening in this world. But you showing up for yourself, proving to yourself that you can make it work, make the best of it. And I know through the pandemic, everybody was like, you know, if you're depressed and you don't feel like making the best of it, that's okay. And I'm, I, I agree with that. Like we have to take mental health, uh, absolutely. And always into consideration here, but instead of just immediately falling into fear or falling into despair, fortifying yourself on a spiritual level and lead with curiosity. Instead of going to the grocery store and seeing, oh no, okay, there's no butter. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Holiday baking, eek. Again, the vegans got it all worked out. Or pick up the cream and come home and make the butter, <laughs> right? Or make your survival bread. It's a nutritionally complete quick bread. You can do all kinds of different variations with it. And it's great for during hurricanes. It's during, you know, great for um, if you have to just like have a go bag to get away from fire like I have to around here sometimes that's a good thing to just have with you um you know did I say blizzards you know all the things like you can have that with you just learn to take care of yourself instead of leaning on the system so much that that's a big thing make sure you're not leaning on the system so much okay and uh it's going to be one big long spiritual journey and it can be beautiful if you allow it to be beautiful, if you're complaining and finding a way to victimize yourself throughout the entire time, it's not going to go well. Okay. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.